I'm so glad you found my channel, Sweet Uniquities, where everything I do here is always sweet and custom for an event, making it a true uniquity. Today we're going to be doing something creepy for Halloween, and that's Mr. Creepy Skull Man Cupcake Toppers. So let's jump into today's project. Okay, so the key to making these toppers completely amazing are these ice cube tray molds. I got them off Amazon. I've linked them down below. So if you're interested in checking them out, please do so. I think these are so amazing because even if you're only going to make these toppers one time, they are going to be awesome to have in your party like drawer because they don't take up much space. They're silicone, so they're really flexible and you can use them for kids drinks. You can put them in adult cocktails. You could put them in your Diet Pepsi, not sponsored, um, but that's where I like to put it. It's my Diet Pepsi. And, um, I just think that they're fun. They're really fun. They look great as they're um, melting. They just get free beer. So think about that if you want to invest in those. I think it's a great, a great way to get an amazing topper and some really fun um, ice cube trays down the road. The other thing you're going to need are melties. I have black and I have white. So you're going to need some melties. You don't have to make them that color. I mean, you're only limited by your lack of creativity, really. So you make them any color, you can make them purple. I don't care. Um, any way you do them, they're gonna look amazing. You're also gonna need some black fondant and you're gonna need some Tylose powder or CMC powder. And that's just going to help the cloak, his little, um, his little cloak harden so that it will stay and look so those are really the items that you need for this project. So not a lot. So let's get started on the making of Mr. Creepy Skull Man. Okay, so I've melted the chocolates. And one thing that this, and this is very, very important, before you start this project, you're gonna wanna wash the mold. Because let me just tell you, only God and the people at the manufacturing plant knows where this has been. So wash it, it is food grade, so you don't have to worry about that, but you don't wanna use it if you don't. Um, Cause you know what, honestly, that would take scary up to a whole new level. So wash it well and let it dry for many hours, maybe even overnight, because one of the arch nemesis of these melty wafers would be water. So if you get water in this or, um, food color that's not for candy. You might think, oh, I've got black food color from another project, I'll just use that in my melties instead. That's not gonna work, it's gonna seize up, you're gonna have a mess on your hands. If you wanna invest in candy colors, that's a whole nother thing, but that's a whole nother expense too. These melties are actually very inexpensive for the package, they're about 250, and you can use a coupon at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or where have you, and you can maybe get it less. The other thing is, oh, well, I'm actually, what we can do um, so that you use the whole bag is I will think of another project down the road and we'll do something with black melties. Um, that will be fun. So anyway, I've melted these. I've washed this. This is dried um, overnight. I've used this a couple times for um, the chocolate and you do not have to wash it between pours of chocolate because it's not, it's not gonna matter. As long as it's fairly you know, wiped out or there's not any big chunks of white chocolate left, you're gonna be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill these and I'm gonna show you um, how easy it is. So here we go. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is get two microwave safe bowls, put quite a few of the white melties in one, and then just a small handful of the black in another. And do not try to put them together, it will not work, trust me. I tried it that way and it was just kind of a muddy mess. The reason that I like to use the black with the white is that it gives such interesting detail i love the marbling effect and you probably let's see if there's one that you can see better maybe this one um do you see the little air holes i love that because it makes it look like the little bugs have been nibbling at his skull so it's kind of creepy so we'll talk about how to get the air bubbles it was kind of a mistake but it turned out to be awesome so um but the marbling is really really cool i think it just kind of levels up the look for really not much work. So I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So, okay, so my white chocolate, here's the white melties. They're all um, nice and smooth. The black is nice and smooth. So just take a little bit of the black and we're just gonna kinda, it's not gonna really drizzle because we've not added anything to make it drizzly, but um, we're just gonna kinda drizzle it if you can get it to kinda drizzle a little bit like that. So not a lot, just a little drizzle. And then I'm just gonna kinda like 
use my spoon and kind of pull through. I hope that makes sense. But I'm not gonna do a lot, so that's kind of it. That's all I'm gonna do, make it a little swirly. And then I'm gonna take my mold and I'm gonna scoop it up and I'm gonna try not to mess up the, the, um, the black because otherwise, like I said, it gets kind of muddy. But I'll just kind of put some first layer in all of the little guys. Usually when you're working with molds in this melty chocolate, you want to like kind of take the, the mold and kind of like do this. You kind of want to slam it down to get the air bubbles out. But kind of my mistake turned out really, really awesome. So if you want the little, you know, bug nibbles on the school, um, make sure that you do not slam your your um, tray down, okay? So fill those dudes up. And I have a couple mistakes here and I will show you those um, while these are chilling. And it doesn't take very long for these to set up because I'm gonna stick them in the fridge and um, they're gonna harden really quickly. So we'll be able to look at them pretty quick. But while they're hardening, I will show you so now they're all full. We're gonna cross our fingers, I did it right. I'm gonna push this down. Okay. And now I'm just gonna stick it in the freezer, or excuse me, in the fridge. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for just, um, I don't know, like 15 minutes, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so while my skulls are hardening, um, I wanna show you the mistakes I made. And honestly, the mistakes in this project are probably gonna turn out better than if I would have actually done it perfectly. So. I wasn't gonna show you these and my husband's like, no, show them because they actually turned out really awesome. So one of the first ones I did, he had like a big hole in his head. Isn't that funny? And he's like, put some worms in there. And I'm like, that's actually a good idea. So I bought some worms. I don't really love the colors, but I my Walmart didn't have a lot to choose from, but um, they had these double headed worms and I, I cut them so that the heads would separate. But isn't that kind of cool? So you've got that. Um, this guy, like he doesn't even have a back of his head, but he looks so old and so cool. Like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. He's gonna look awesome on a cupcake. And then this one, you know, looks so good. The, look at all those hole, holes in his face. He doesn't have a lot of marbling, but look, he has been nibbled to pieces. Oh, look, look, Ooh, it looks like me. It's like my, it's like my face. Oh, there we go, Ooh, there we go. Oh, that, now that is funny. Okay. <laughs> I'm probably the only one laughing, but I'm having a great time. And then um, then this one was my best attempt, but the marbling is much better. Um, to me, the marbling kind of gives it a skull crackle, crack, crackification, or what, I don't know, skull crack, crackification? Um, skull crackage. Um, um, skull crackage look. So I think that just makes it look old and creepy and awesome. I made a mistake because I need to put some some white chocolate kind of on this back side too because otherwise I'm not gonna have a full skull. So I'm gonna just put some white chocolate here and hope it connects. I can't believe I forgot that, but I don't wanna start all over. And I'm not perfect, so surprise. It's all right, you guys, you know, we, we work with what we got, right? You're only as good as your mistakes because Girl, I make them all day long. I'm gonna just kind of fill that back up. Kind of do kind of the back side. So hopefully this makes sense. I, I kind of was thinking in order to get the back of the skull done, you kind of need to, and he may have, he won't be solid, but we're just gonna, we're gonna fix this right now. We'll make this awesome. because um, those were really full, so it should be good. So I've got the back of the cranium. Um, really kind of rounded and thick, so sorry about that. All right. Okay, so now at least I think we're going to have maybe a little better outcome because he's gonna have more of a back of his cranium, which uh, that's what I want. Okay, so because this isn't real gooey, it's not gonna run out. I'm, I can flip it over pretty quick, 
push it back down in there. Now we're gonna try again, sorry. Take two. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna roll out the, the cloak. I guess it's called the cloak, I don't know. The thing that goes over Mr. Creepy Skull Man's head. Um, and I'm gonna roll that out now. I have my black fondant and I've not added any Tylos to it, so I thought that way you guys could see how much I add. This is CMC, not Tylos, but basically it's the same thing. Whew. I am really good at putting too much Tylos on my fondant. Okay, so I have some here. I don't measure. I know it's maddening, but it's just how I do it. So just put it in there. You need to add the Tylos or CMC powder to fondant whenever you want it to harden and um, you know be sturdy. So that's why I add it. And you're going to need to work it in really, really well. Um, I'm going to roll this out on a mat today. and It's just like a scrapbook mat. I only use it for my fondant stuff, but because I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife, which again, I only use this for fondant um, and gum paste and such, uh, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna cut my countertops. My husband would kill me. So, um, this idea today actually came from a keg I did for my good friend Susie. Hi, Smash, miss you. And um, she does amazing parties. She used to be a party planner in a previous life. And um, all of her things are just completely top shelf. Anytime she does anything, she's everything to every little detail. And I knew if I was gonna do the dessert, it had to be something spectacular. And I did a cake and it was Mr. Creepy Schoolman cake. And that I would have loved to have done for you all, but it would have required a trip to the hardware store, the use of power tools. Um, I would have had to done Rice Krispies, cake, um, lots of fondant, an airbrush machine, on and on. Like there's a lot of steps to that cake, but it was spectacular. And I was trying to think of a way, how could I recreate that? Because I have a full-time job, people. Um, so I was like, I don't have time to make Mr. Creepy Skull Man. So um, that's why we're doing this. It's kind of a version of that cake. So. Uh, maybe one day, if you guys are interested, let me know. Maybe we'll do that cake, but um, it's gonna be a long time. It's just a lot of work. Okay, so the Tylos has been added. I've got some um, some cornstarch on here. And I'm gonna roll this dude out, and I'm gonna roll it out, you know, kinda, kinda big. And um, I'm gonna try not to get the cornstarch on the top. Um, I did on this one, I'm usually, I work, I, I often work pretty messy. That's just me. I used to think when I was young I wanted to do a cooking show called Messing Up the Kitchen with Joe because I knew I was just a disaster. Um, I try really hard to be neat and tidy, but I usually wind up with a hot mess in the kitchen. But um, anyway, um, I I usually, if I have, if, if I need to add, um, to get rid of the cornstarch, I have to use a steamer, and we might do that. Um, but I know that that's, again, a little extra, and you guys are gonna be like, really, she's got a steamer out? Whatever, but it does wind up making the bond. Oh my gosh. Ah. What what made me think that I could do this? Oh, please. Mr. Creepy Man, you're kicking my butt. Anyway, okay, so anyway, he is just a little devil. Okay, so I'm gonna take the X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut just like a little tiny little line, and then an, it's kind of like a little, little tiny, just like a little, little tiny V. And then I'm gonna do it again a little ways away. And let's see if I can hold this up where you can kind of see what it does. It makes the edge, you can see those two little holes. It kind of, it makes the edge frayed. So right, like right here's one, you can see it. And then here's the other one right there. So that will just, whenever it goes around him, it will add a little extra layer of, you know, creepiness, cause he looks like, you know, it has been, um, you know, old and damaged. So anyway. I don't know. Tell me, is a Mr. Creepy Man, is he a reaper? Or do they have to have like, do they have to have the, the weapons to be a reaper? Because I don't know. I mean, my dark side lingo is really rusty. So if you know if this guy's actually gonna be a reaper because he's got the thing over his head and the skull, or does a reaper, is it something different? Because I don't know. And this is your chance to educate me. So, all right. So. I'm gonna step away and then I'm gonna chuck the, the melty wafers. Let's see how they are. And then we can start assembling. So um, I'm so excited. Okay, so I have some bad news. 
we're gonna have to steam this because there's so much cornstarch on it that it doesn't look good. So just to give you an example, like if you can, can you see that? Like that is a lot of cornstarch. So lucky for you, you're getting to see all my dark, deep, dark, dark, deep, dark secrets um, today on uh, Sweet Uniquities. <laughs> so um, meet Mr. Steamer. So. <laughs> Um, put your, your toppers or whatever you need to clean up on a, um, I use these splatter guards that I get at the Dollar Tree. And we're going to be doing a little trip to the Dollar Tree here soon um, in one of the future videos so that um, you guys can see what kinds of things I get from the Dollar Tree to save money. Because um, they have so many cool things that are great for these projects um, that you can use from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just, you don't want to get them like wet, wet, but it will definitely add the shine back, which is so great. Can you see the difference already? So it's going to have to kind of dry a little bit, but that is exactly what I needed it to do. Thank you, Mr. Stamo. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I, I obviously don't use it on my clothes. I'm usually wrinkly. Okay, so steaming's done. Now we're gonna let that kind of dry off. I'm gonna set it over here so that it can kind of dry. And while we're doing that, we're going to un undo these and I'm just gonna cross my fingers. The thing is, is it doesn't matter how good or how terrible these look, they're gonna be usable and the face is going to be amazing. So fingers crossed that these are ready. So drum roll please. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, my idea of how I tried to get the back done did not work, but we might be able to make. <laughs> so here's the back of the cranium and here's the front of the cranium. Okay, so I know you're like, I will never subscribe to this chick because she is an idiot, but um, please give me another chance. Um, and that is a good time to, to say, I really would appreciate if you like this video to some degree. Um, and if, I gotta stand up, I'm sorry. Um, if you would subscribe, if you would hit the bell, if you would share the video with somebody you know that likes creepy stuff, that would be awesome. Okay, so I realize he doesn't have a back of his cranium, but look at him, like seriously, he looks, oh my gosh, look, ah, he's fantastic. All right, sorry he doesn't have a back of his cranium, but, you know, whatever. But he still looks great, and his brother does too. Ah. So, you get the picture. You understand. So, now I'm going to let the fondant finish drawing, kind of from the steam, and then we're going to assemble Mr. Creepy Skull Man, and oh, I'm so excited. So, okay, so we're all finished, and as you can see, He's got some great marbling detail. If you look at the back of the cloak, it's just kind of draped over the back of the cupcake, making him look spooky. Here's this one. They all look just a little different. You can kind of look, look from the side, like seriously. So cool, so cool and creepy. And if you choose not to add the cloak, which you don't have to, look how great he looks, like seriously. Actually, it's kind of nice. You can actually see a little bit more of the detail, but he's got two snakes coming out of his head. He is really creepy. So that completes today's project. I would love it if you would subscribe. I would love it if you would like, share, ring the bell, all of those amazing things. But most importantly, I hope you have a sweet and unique day. And I hope you join me next time for another fun video. So bye-bye.